Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, University of the Nam, Deanship of E-Learning and Distance Learning, College of Applied Studies and Community Service. And this is English and your instructor, your teacher, Mazen al Kabridi. I would like to welcome you back to the second lecture, lecture number two. And uh, in this lecture, before we start, let me remind you about what we talked about last time in the first lecture. In the first lecture, we talked about the basics and we only discussed parts of a speech. Parts of a speech. That's what we talked about last time. في المحاضرة السابقة المحاضرة الأولى تكلمنا عن parts of speech اللي هما nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, conjunctions, prepositions, articles and so on. تحدثنا عن أقسام الكلام اللي هم الأسماء، الأفعال، الصفات، الضمائر والظروف وأحرف الجر إلى آخره. We also talked about nouns in details. We discussed all the details of plural and singular. We also talked about articles and all the details concerning those articles. تحدثنا أيضا عن الأسماء وتعمقنا بالتفاصيل أكثر تفاصيل الأسماء كيف نحول المفرد إلى جمع وما هي حالات الجمع للأسماء جميعها. وثم تطرقنا إلى كافة التفاصيل المتعلقة بالأسماء أنواعها وأشكالها ثم تحدثنا عن أدوات التنكير والتعريف الخاصة التي نستعملها مع الأسماء اللي هي ذا أي أند أن هذا ما تحدثنا عنه في المحاضرة الأولى Now we will continue with the introduction We will continue to talk about the basics because they are very important before we start with the first unit of the book. رح نتابع إن شاء الله في الحديث عن الأساسيات اللغة الإنجليزية لأنها ضرورية جدا قبل البدء في الوحدة الأولى الخاصة بالكتاب. So now let's go to our PowerPoint slides. We'll start with lecture two, lesson two, and we will continue. With introduction, intro, part two, the part, the second part of this introduction, concerning the basics. Okay, we will continue to talk about nouns. We started with to talk about nouns last time, and now we will continue with nouns because we have so many things to talk about nouns. سنتابع الحديث عن الأسماء ولكن هذه المرة سنناقش شيء آخر. الأسماء فيها تفاصيل كثيرة ولكن هذه المرة سنناقش موضوع uh, count uncountable nouns countable and uncountable nouns what does that mean if we have countable noun اسم معدود واسم غير معدود الأسماء المعدودة هي مثل car we can say one car two car three cars and so on like student we have one student two students, five students, ten students, and so on. So those are countable nouns. هي أسماء معدودة يمكن عدها. يمكن قول طالب واحد, طالبين, وأكثر. On the other hand, من الناحية الأخرى, we have uncountable nouns. What do we mean by uncountable nouns? أسماء غير معدودة. أسماء لا يمكن عدها. We can't say, for example, one or two or three. So let's go and discuss the details of uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are substances, concepts, etc. that we cannot divide into separate elements. What does that mean? إيش يعني هذا الكلام؟ الأسماء الغير معدودة هي شيء زي زي المواد أو المفاهيم. مثلا, for example, we have water. Water is a substance. الماء هي مادة. So we can't divide water. لا يمكن تقسيم المياه إلى عناصر متفرقة أو مستقلة. For example, we can't say, give me one water or give me three waters. No, we can't say that. So, 
for these kinds of nouns we don't count them concepts mafahim something like a music a music is a concept something in your mind it's an idea so it's not we cannot count it it's uncountable so we cannot say I'm listening to two musics no we can't say that we say I'm listening to music musiqa. we can't say I'm listening to five musics a day no we can't say that let's go and see some of the examples we have a music as we said musiqa, art love happiness all of them are concepts like art, al-fan, love, happiness all of them are concepts, ideas other uh, group of uh, examples we have advice we have information and the news for example advice huwa al-nusah when you give someone advice you don't say I give I gave him one advice no I gave him advice so don't count it information also it's wrong to say informations don't say that don't say informations say information another example news akhbar news we don't say uh, I saw on Al Jazeera one in news or one in you no I watched the news all the news together we can't divide the news into parts so news information advice those are the second group of examples the uh, next group of examples we have furniture and luggage furniture and luggage what does it mean furniture furniture for example in your house you have a sofa a table a chair a bed all of these are called furniture mafrushat so we talk about furniture all together the furniture of your house all together we don't talk about one furniture so we talk about all of them together luggage when you for example travel to another country you take your luggage it means all your clothes or your things that you need it means empty so we don't uh, say one luggage we say the luggage together all the luggage together okay the next group of examples we have rice sugar butter and water all of these examples are substances substances means mawad we have sugar rice butter and water arroz shug uh, rice sugar sukkar butter zubda and water as we said in the beginning ma so all of these are substances that we cannot divide we talk about all of the substance together so we don't divide them they are so all of these examples are uncountable nouns asma khair ma'duda okay we still have another group electricity electricity gas and power electricity for example this computer works by electricity we use electricity to give power to the computer so electricity means kahraba gas we know it's the same in Arabic gas gas and power which is taqa so can you divide the power no we can't divide the power can you divide the electricity you bring some electricity and divide it no they come as one a whole so we don't count them okay another group of examples money and currency money actually we don't count money we say I have a lot of money and I have little money so it is the same whether you have a lot of money or some money it is the same we still use uncountable noun 
currency currency means umla so we talk about currency as one the currency of Saudi Arabia is real the currency of UAE United Arab Emirates is dirham and so on now in the next page or the next slide we will continue talking about uncountable nouns but this time we will uh, talk about more details let's read we usually treat uncountable nouns as singular so we use a singular verb so if you remember okay the examples that we talked about for example when we have one thing we say uh, this is a man this is a man it means we have one man so the singular verb is is here is is a singular verb when we have a group of men we say these are men so the verb is for plural are is a verb for plural so when we have an uncountable noun what we do we deal with it نتعامل معه نتعامل مع الاسم الغير المعدود على أنه مفرد فنستخدم فعل مفرد مثال على ذلك هو is is نستخدمه للأفعال المفردة مع الأسماء المفردة so for example this news is very important إذا عملنا الاسم غير المعدود هنا معاملة المفرد we deal with it we treat uncountable noun as singular noun we don't say are these these news are very important no we say this news is very important so we use is which is a singular verb for uncountable nouns another example your luggage I'm talking to you your luggage looks heavy أو يبدو وزنها ثقيل فهنا your luggage again we have uncountable noun so we use a singular verb here we will talk about this later when we have a singular verb we add s which is in present symbol يعني هذا شيء سنناقشه فيما بعد لما نضيف uh, present simple s s al hadir al basit nadifuhu lil fi'l indama yakun anna al subject subject of the sentence yakun mufradan al subject yakun mufradan nastakhdam s fa hana your luggage ta'amalna ma'ahu mu'amalat al mufrad fa adafna s looks tabdu amti'atuka tabdu أضفنا الأس لأنه عملنا اللقج معاملة المفرد فإذا مرة أخرى مثال ثاني هنا وضعنا إز لأن في أفعال verb to be أفعال الكون نستخدم إز كفعل مفرد مع الأسماء المفردة وفي الحاضر البسيط نضيف إس للفعل إذا كان الفاعل مفردا Another note, Mulahava Thania. We do not usually use the indefinite article A and with uncountable nouns. Yani, la nastakhdam adawat al tankir, A or an, ma al asma al ghair ma'duda. Kulna in no amilha mu'amlet al asma al mufrada. صحيح نستخدم نحن أدوات تنكير والتعريف مع الأسماء المفردة ولكن لا نستخدمها مع الأسماء غير المعدودة For example, we cannot say an information or a news No, we cannot say that We don't use a or an with uncountable nouns لا تستخدموا أدوات التنكير a or an مع الأسماء الغير معدودة Also, if we go to the second example A music also is wrong خطأ we can't say a music we say music music is nice music is good and so on but we can say a something of ايش يعني a something of let's have an example يعني لما نقول for example قطعة موسيقية 
ممكن نقول جزء من الأخبار ممكن نقول أعطيته نوع جزءا من النصيحة This is in English I'm translating يعني أنا بترجم Now we, I will give you examples We can say a piece of news A piece, if you translate it If you have a dictionary إذا كنتم تستخدموا القاموس A piece alone لحالها تعني قطعة ولكن هنا تعني بمعنى جزء A piece of news جزء من الأخبار So in this case we can use A Because A we use A with piece Not with the news يعني ال piece تستخد ال A تستخدم هنا أداة التنكير تستخدم مع piece مع هذه الكلمة قطعة A piece قطعة أو جزء جزء من فإذا هنا نستخدم A مع A piece not مع news Okay The next example A bottle of water زجاجة مياه So again A is used with bottle زجاجة of water زجاجة مياه أو زجاجة من المياه زجاجة مياه So A is used with bottle Again Water is uncountable And we used A with the bottle Not with water It's the A is used with bottle Another example One kilo of rice One kilo of rice As Again So we can use one One man One woman One car One student So we can use one to show that this word is singular نستخدم one لإظهار أن هذا الاسم هو مفرد وليس جمعا So we can say one kilo of rice If we want to say two For example here We say two kilos of rice Two kilos of rice Okay, this is for this So again, let me repeat this rule If you have uncountable noun Don't use an article لا تستخدموا أدوات التنكير مع الأسماء غير المعدودة ولكن but you can use a or an with a piece of a bottle of one kilo of something like that يعني الاستخدام يكون مع كلمة متعلقة أو مرتبطة بالاسم غير المعدود مثل هنا a piece of news a bottle of water one kilo of rice okay I hope it's clear this rule is clear now we can move to the next page and we continue with uncountable nouns we have so many rules for uncountable nouns because they are very important now uh, we can use some and any with uncountable nouns how is that? يعني نستخدم some كلمة some and كلمة any with uncountable nouns how is that? كيف ممكن نستخدم هذين الكلمتين We can know that from the examples Let's start with the examples The first example I've got some money It means I have some money لدي أو أنا أملك بعض النقود Some بعض بعض النقود So I've got some money بعض النقود So you can use it in this context في هذا السياق In this context You can use it I have some money or, or I've got some money the next example have you got any rice have you got any rice if you look at the end of this sentence you can see that we have a question mark question mark means that this sentence is a question سؤال هي سؤال بما انه في عنا اشارة السفام have you got any rice هل عندك اية رز so here with the questions instead of some we use any so بدلا من some نستخدم any مع الأسئلة with the questions we use any also we can use any with negatives for example I don't have any rice I don't have any water I don't listen to any music So any you can use it with the questions Questions, asila Or negative, an-nafi I don't have any rice 
while some this word some you can use it with affirmative affirmative means الجمل المثبتة ok now let's continue we can use a little and much a little and much with uncountable nouns and they mean both those words a little I have a little money I have much money a lot الكثير a little القليل so let's see the examples I've got a little money I've got a little money لدي القليل من المال I've got a little money so here we use a it's something similar to what we talked about in the previous page هو شيء يشبه ما تكلمنا عنه في الصفحة السابقة زي a piece of information here a little money so we use a the next example I haven't got much rice I haven't got it means I don't have much rice ليس عندي الكثير من الأرز I don't have got or I haven't got much rice or I don't have much rice so again we use much so you have to be careful with little we use a little with much there is no a much rice with little a little rice or a little money a little water okay now we are done with uncountable nouns with the third page now with the fourth page we have more examples more examples about countable and uncountable nouns what is countable and what is uncountable let's see the examples we have a table countable on the left on the left hand side on the left hand side we can see countable nouns on the right hand side we can see here on the right uncountable nouns هنا عندنا الأسماء المعدودة هنا ما يقابلها من الأسماء غير المعدودة so you have to match between those two so we have dollar which is countable we can say ten dollars and here we have uncountable money song أغنية music music is uncountable suitcase suitcase حقيبة luggage أمتعة table table you write on the table you use a table to write you use a table you use a table to eat on and so on so we have table and we have furniture furniture which is uncountable C another un another countable noun battery battery they, uh, in Arabic we say battaria uh, in uncountable the uncountable equivalent is electricity Garba. here we have bottle bottle which is countable we can say a bottle but milk we don't we can't say a milk we say a bottle of milk zujaja to halib a bottle of milk so the next example report report is countable information is uncountable report means taqrir information معلومات so tip and advice tip and advice tip means also نصيحة uh, something like that advice the same but it's uncountable journey journey رحلة a journey to uh, the US a journey to UK and so on so رحلة while the travel again سفر أو ترحال is uncountable job عمل job is countable for example uh, I worked in two jobs you can say that but work you can't count it you can't add s plural s لا يمكن إضافة s الجمع إلى كلمة work فإذا هي كلمة غير معدودة uncountable so again with work for if you have a compound uh, word كلمة مركبة زي مثال homework 
homework homework wajib we don't add s it's uncountable so work is uncountable homework is also uncountable the last example view and scenery view and scenery both means the same mashhad view you can add s to it while scenery there is no plural form it's uncountable okay i hope you uh, understood everything about uncountable nouns what is an uh, what is a countable noun what is uncountable noun i hope it's clear for you نتمنى ان شاء الله يكون كل شيء واضح لكم بالنسبة للأسماء المعدودة وغير المعدودة Now we will continue with something else We will talk about pronouns And especially personal pronouns الضمائر عندنا أنواع كثيرة من الضمائر ولكن اليوم سنركز على الضمائر الشخصية الضمائر الشخصية Personal pronouns الضمائر بشكل عام هي تستخدم just to refresh your minds to remind you when we talked in the last lecture في المحاضرة الأولى ذكرنا أن الضمائر تستخدم لاستبدال أو تحل مكان الأسماء it replaces a pronoun replaces a noun so let's see all the personal pronouns before we have the example let's see the table here we have the number is it singular or a plural do we use it for singular or do we use it for plural هل نستخدم هذا الضمير للمفرد أو للجمع هنا the number العدد person هل هو first person second person or third person what do we mean by first person what do we mean by second person and what do we mean by third person first person which is this one al mutakallim if you are talking so you say i i because you are the first person al shakhs al awwal which is al mutakallim the second person here is the second person is a person that you are talking to for example if you are talking to your friend tatakallam ma sadiqik your friend is the second person الشخص الثاني هو المخاطب you are talking to your friend so صديقك هو المخاطب so second person is المخاطب third person for example if you are talking about somebody who is not here he is not here هو ليس هنا so the third person is الغائب so if we are talking about somebody who is not here so we use the third person okay here the third one gender we mean male or female male or female male as you can see in the picture a man or a boy while female we use it for women a woman or a girl a lady or a mrs a miss anything so this is a personal subject pronouns why do we call it personal subject pronouns subject pronouns it means that we use it instead of the subject يعني تحل محل الفاعل يعني لو أردنا استبدال الفاعل نستخدم أحد هذه الضمائر عندنا أنواع ثانية من الضمائر which is called subject pronouns and we will talk about it later هي ضمائر المفعول به ولكن هذه ضمائر الفاعل subject pronouns ok let's start with the first one I we use it for female or male so if you are a man or a woman you can use I to talk about yourself you you we use it for people we are talking to we can use it also to male and female singular here we are talking about singular you are a student you are a boy you are a girl you are a man you are a woman so we can use it for male both male and female he if we are talking about somebody this is a third person 
somebody who is not here al ghaib so he we use only for male only for a man one singular one man so he is my friend maybe you are talking about mike he is my friend huwa sadiqi who he is my friend who he the the one that we are talking about is not here huwa ghair mawjood huwa ghaib so he is my friend he is my neighbor huwa jari and so on while she on the other hand she is used for female female a woman a girl a lady a miss a mrs anything it should be a female so she is a good student again she is the third person number three which is which means she is not here we are talking about a girl who who is not here the last one for singular the last one it we use it for neuter what does it mean neuter it means it's not a male it's not a male not a female not a male not a female what does that mean not a, a male not a female it means it's a thing maybe you are talking about a car a table a wall a computer a phone a mobile phone a cell phone so when we talk about things we use a neuter neuter hiyadi it's not a female not a male laysa mudakkar wa laysa muannath okay now we are done with singular pronouns with singular personal subject uh, pronouns now we will talk about uh, plural adhama'ir nistakhdamha lijjama the first one we we it means i and somebody else nahnu we talk about i talk about myself and somebody else so we use it also for male and female for so if we have a group of ma men and women مجموعه من الذكور والاناث يتكلمون عن نفسهم so we say we okay this is for first person المتكلم because you are talking about yourself the second person المخاطب we can use you so again you you can use it for singular for one person or for two so you you can use it if i'm talking to one student you are a good student or i can tell everybody everybody who is watching me now you are good students you are good students we add s so we are talking to everybody to all of the students the last one if you are talking about a group of people who or who, who are not here مجموعه من الاشخاص الغائبين we say they هم هم they so we use it for male female and in user if you are uh, talking about a group of people or group of things a group of animals a group of cars a group of f uh, tables a group of things any things that they are in group we say they about them let's go to the next page to see some of the examples examples the first example i like coffee i'm talking about myself so i like coffee this is first person first person and singular al mutakallam shakhs mufrad i'm talking about myself i like coffee now i'm asking you i'm asking you do you like coffee maybe i'm asking one or two or three so it means do you like coffee maybe one person singular or two three four so as we said you we can use it for singular and plural and here it's the second person al mukhatab you the third example michael runs fast michael runs fast michael yarqud bisura michael yarqud bisura so michael is one one person mufrad and he is not here huwa ghaib so we use third person third person for singular and he is a male michael michael is a male he's not a female 
he's not a thing he's a man uh, he's a man so he so instead of Michael we put he so he refers back to Michael so it means he is a runner Michael is a runner he is a runner هو عداء it means he runs عداء يركض okay so the next example Mary or Mary is smart Mary is smart she is clever Mary is smart so third person female we use she because she is singular she is third person she is female so we use she she is clever innaha zakiya okay the next example the car is broken down broken down it means it doesn't work muattala as-sayyara muattala the car is broken down car is it a, f a male is it a female no she's not uh, the car is not a male it's not a female it's a neuter it's a thing it's a machine so what we use we use it because it's singular it doesn't work it doesn't work so we use it instead of car and it refers to the car the next example when my friends and I finish school we go home so so when my friends and I finish school so I'm talking about my friends and I I'm talking about one group so this is first person first person نتكلم اتكلم عن مجموعة من الناس so this is المتكلم نستخدم ضمير المتكلم I finish uh, my friend, when my friends and I finish school we we نحن go home we go home نذهب إلى المنزل we go home so this is first person but plural جمع because my friends my friends maybe two maybe three four five and I so a group of people so it's plural okay the next example do you need a table for the three again you you can use it for more than one so here because we see it's three men do you need a table for three because they are three يعني هم ثلاثة فا يسألوا do you want a table for three هل تريد طاولة لثلاثة أشخاص أو هل تريد هل تريد أنتم we are talking to three people do you want a table for three people so here it's a plural the last example maybe this is the last example John and Sammy like sports first of all they are two John and Sammy we have two people so and both of them are not here هم غائبان the two of the, the, the two of them they are not here so if we go back to the table if you remember the table if we have two people they are third person third person we use they they play tennis a lot because they like sports they play at tennis a lot and they refers back to Sammy and John or John and Sammy now we are done with everything that we talked about and we will start something new we will talk about verb B verb B what is verb B as I said in lecture one في الدرس الأول أو في المحاضرة الأولى قلت أن أفعال الكون هي أم إز آر وي هاف ثري فيرب بي أوكي ثلاثة أفعال كون سو ليتس توك أباوت ذيم إن ديتيلز دعونا نتكلم عنهم في تفاصيل أكثر بريزنت أوف بي وي ويل أونلي توك أباوت ذا بريزنت أوف بي يعني الشكل الحاضر البسيط من أفعال الكون وهي أم إز آر أز أي سيد Use the verb be to identify and describe people and things. 
it means يعني نستخدم فعل الكون لتحديد أو تعريف أو وصف الأشخاص أو الأشياء identify تحديد أو تعريف who are these people what are these things and describe as we said last time وصف وصف الأشخاص أو الأشياء okay let's see this table the subject here we have subject verb be sometimes we use negative and this is the rest the complement الفاعل فعل الكون في حالة النفي نضيف not في هذا المكان هذا المكان المخصص لإضافة not uh, لجعل الكلمة في الحالة النفي negative ثم تأتي تكملة الجملة so I as we said singular if I'm talking about myself I'm one and I'm talking about myself we say I am a student I am a student but I'm not a student I'm a teacher so I can say about myself I am a teacher أنا مدرس or I am a lecturer أنا محاضر so if you, I am not a student I can say I am not a student I can add not here to make it negative so I am a teacher I am not a student أنا مدرس أنا لست طالب okay the next group المجموعة الثانية من uh, الضمائر ضمائر الفاعل we have you, we and they you we said we can use it for one two or more okay so you are nice you are smart you are intelligent you are good looking so after the verb to be we used here an adjective صفه nice you are nice okay uh, it might me mean uh, latif or jamil latif or jamil nice so you are nice اذا كان شخص ما نلطيف ولا هو جميل we say you are not nice and you uh, uh, we add the not in this place again you are not nice we if we are talking about a group first person first person plural we are nice نحن لطفاء نحن لطفاء they are nice هم لطفاء again if we want to make it negative if we want to make it negative في صيغة النفي we are not nice they are not nice the last group he she it singular all of these pronouns are singular he هو she هي it تستخدم للأشياء so he is from USA هو من الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية she is from USA it is from USA so it is from USA maybe you are talking about Ford maybe Sayar Ford it is from the USA so it comes from the USA if we want to make it negative again he is not so he is not from the USA she is not from the USA it is not from the USA maybe it is from China not from the USA it is from China okay the note again you can you the pronoun you we can use it for singular and the plural example for that you are a student it means one student and you are students plural you are a student one student and you are students أنت طالب وأنتم طلاب so we can use you for singular and plural يمكن استخدام الضمير you للدلالة على شخص أنت طالب وأنتم طلاب the same الكلمة ذاتها تستخدم للدلالة على المفرد المخاطب أو الجمع المخاطب okay now let's continue talking about verb B but now we will talk about how to make verb B shorter what does that mean verb B contractions so this is the word contractions it means اختصارات 
تعني الاختصارات contractions so when do you use contractions and what are contractions a contraction makes two words into one word تحول كلمتين إلى كلمة واحدة it has an, an apostrophe ونضيف فاصلة علوية we call it apostrophe apostrophe and we make two words into one the second note there are two negative contractions so for are not and is not we have two forms of contraction let's see those contractions let's start with the first one here we don't have a contraction for example I am a student or I am not a student you are a student you are students we are students they are students he is a student she is a student and it is a nice table because we can't use it for students so we can use it for something else it is a nice car it is a large table and so on so this is without contraction there is no contraction لا يوجد اختصار هذا القسم الأول in gray this here gray so as you can see we don't use contractions if we go here we have the two forms two negative contractions we have two forms the first one is in green the second one is in red okay so الاختصارات عنا شكلان للاختصارات الشكل الأول عندنا هنا في, في لون الأخضر الشكل الثاني من الاختصار لأفعال الكون هو باللون الأحمر Let's go and discuss the first the first type of contractions the first type of contractions subject plus verb be in addition then we add not so I am not you're not we're not they're not he's not she's not it's not so what we do here we join two words الكلمتان التي قمنا بدمجهما هما subject and be الفعل أو I'm sorry الفاعل الفاعل subject قمنا بدمجه مع فعل الكون فأصبح عندنا I am becomes I'm so what we what we did we deleted a قمنا بحذف a we added apostrophe قمنا بإضافة فاصلة علوية which is apostrophe فاصلة علوية and there is no space وقمنا بإلغاء الفراغ بين I and am so it becomes one word I'm I'm so this is this one we call it I am I am why this one I'm I'm the second one what we did we deleted a again here the first letter again we deleted it we deleted the first letter as we did here with M we did also with R so your we don't say here we say we are you are you are while here we say you're you're not you're not while here we say you are not here we say with contraction we say you're not you're not a teacher you are a student you're not a teacher you're a student here again we did the same thing we deleted a we added the apostrophe so we're we are not and here we have we're not we're not here the second one we did the same again the same they're not while here it was they are not after contraction it becomes they're not now the next group of uh, contractions we have his she's and it's his she's and it's so instead of he is she is and it is 
we have here he is not she is not and it's not so what we did we deleted I قمنا بحذف ال I كما فعلنا مع ال A في R and ال A في M so we deleted A or the I here we deleted A in those two examples while here we deleted the I and then we added apostrophe apostrophe here so she's not he's not and it's not so this is the first type of contractions this is the first type of contractions the other type of contractions and no athani من الاختصارات لفعل الكون هو عندما نقوم بدمج الفعل الكون مع صيغة النفي not so as you can see here the subject it remains as itself يبقى على حاله الفاعل يبقى على حاله دون أي اختصار مع أي كلمة أخرى ولكن نقوم بدمج فعل الكون مع صيغة النفي not فيصبح عنا الأشكال الثانية للشكل الأول I am or I'm عندنا شكل واحد من الاختصارات ما عندنا شكل ثاني هنا We don't have another form for the negative form of I am or I'm Only I am, I am or I'm Only two One with contraction شكل مع الاختصار بدون اختصار هنا On the left هنا we have no contraction While here هنا عندنا اختصار وهو بشكل واحد بصيغة واحدة While for the rest للبقية we have two forms as we said here there are two negative contractions for are not and is not are not we have two forms and is not we have two forms so what are the forms the two forms are you aren't we aren't they aren't so what we did we make are here are and not we make them into one word we merge them together we mix them together we join them together so what we do we delete the O we don't delete the first letter we keep it we keep نحافظ على الحرف الأول ولكن نقوم بحذف حرف O the letter O we delete it we delete O and instead of O we add apostrophe فاصلة علوية like here فاصلة علوية so again you aren't we aren't they aren't here we have he isn't she isn't it isn't so as you can note ممكن أن تلاحظوا أن هنا قمنا بنفس العمل قمنا بحذف حرف O والإبقاء على بأول حرف وقمنا بإضافة الفاصلة العلوية which is called apostrophe so again let me read all the forms uh, one by one نقرأ جميع الأشكال جميع الصيغ مع اختصار وبدونه let's start with the first one I am I'm you are not you're not you aren't we are not we're not and we aren't they are not they're not and they aren't he is not he's not and he isn't she is not she she's not and she isn't the last one it is not it's not it isn't one last note ملاحظة أخيرة يمكن استخدام أي شكل من أشكال ال contractions أي شكل من أشكال الاختصارات يعني إذا قمتم باستخدام الشكل الأول أم الشكل الثاني there is no difference at all لا يوجد اختلاف على الإطلاق the same meaning the same use الاستخدام ذاته والمعنى ذاته so don't worry you can use this one or this one it's up to you يعني القرار متروك لكم 
which one do you like you can use أي شكل تفضلون هي ممكن استخدامه okay now we have an exercise on simple present tense if you remember we talked only about verb be verb be in simple present tense الزمن حاضر البسيط ناقشنا فقط uh, ما سميناه uh, الأفعال الكون في الزمن الحاضر البسيط لم نناقش الزمن we didn't discuss the tense لم نناقش the simple present tense as a tense كزمن لم نقوم بالمناقشة we only discussed verb to be in present tense أفعال الكون في الزمن الحاضر البسيط okay exercise this is the first exercise for simple present complete the conversation with the verb be when I tell you complete the conversation with the verb be I mean um is are again um is are verb be means um is or are so you have to complete the sentences complete the conversation with um is or are عندنا محادثة بين شخصين you have to complete it عليكم إكمال هذه المحادثة باستخدام أحد أحرف أحد أفعال الكون أفعال الكون وهم أم إز آر عليكم اختيار أحد هذه الأفعال واستخدامها لملء الفراغات Let's see the conversation The conversation is between علي and إريك المحادثة بين علي وإريك you can read the conversation read the conversation and then try to use one of the verbs to be in order to complete the conversation حاولوا استخدام أحد أحرف عفوا أحد أفعال الكون لتكملة هذه المحادثة I'll give you one minute maybe you can pause the video you can stop the video and do the exercise Okay, try to to do it. Let's do the first one before you. Okay, before you do the rest. Hi, I am Ali. Why did we use R M? Because with the pronoun I, we use M. Hi, I am Ali. مرحباً أنا علي. Hi, I am Ali. Continue with the same thing. تابعوا على نفس ال. الأسلوب ويمكنكم إيقاف المحاضرة يمكن ضغط على سر إيقاف وقراءة هذه المحادثة والقيام بالإجابة على هذا السؤال وملء الفراغات. Okay, let's check your answers. Now we'll see your answers. We'll see if you have the right answers. I hope you have the right answers. Uh, now, uh, الآن سنقوم ب أريد منكم أن تقوموا بمقارنة uh, أجوبتكم مع الأجوبة التي سنتحدث عنها ستظهر على الشاشة ثم سنناقش we will discuss why did we use uh, the verb be which one um, or, is or, or are okay let's start the first sentence was Ali is speaking hi I am Ali we used I am because we have the pronoun, the subject pronoun I. Okay. The second one. Now, what do you think? Here we have I, I, there's a space, Eric. So, Eric is talking about himself. So, this is the first person. Mutakallim. Damir al Mutakallim. I, we use with it, am. Um. So, I am Eric. And we have the second answer by mistake. So where are you from, Ali? Why did we use R here? We use R because of the the personal the personal subject pronoun you. So here, where are you from, Ali? Min aina anta ya Ali? Where are you from? So R with you, the uh, singular. Second person, المخاطب المفرد ضمير المخاطب المفرد you. So we used R. Next, Ali now is talking. Ali يتكلم. I, space from Saudi Arabia. 
how about you so Ali is talking about himself again I person pronoun I something like the first and the second one so um I am from Saudi Arabia and I'm in Al Mamlak Al Arabiya Saudi how about you Madank how about you Madank Eric now is talking Britain it means I am from Britain I am from Britain Britain from London Min Britannia Min Medina London so here Ali is talking my friends Paul and Omar from Britain too now let's see this sentence we have Paul and Omar so here we have more than one subject يعني عندنا أكثر من فاعل في الجملة بول بول هو الفاعل الأول and عمر so we have two subjects in the case of two which is a plural and they are absent they are not here هم غائبان شخصان بول and عمر are from Britain too بول وعمر هما من بريطانيا أيضا so we used are because we have two subjects two subjects Paul and Omar and they are Ali's friends okay then Eric says really really what does it mean حقا هو تدل على المفاجأة really حقا your friends here now so if you look at the end of the sentence إذا نظرتم إلى نهاية الجملة يمكنكم ملاحظة the question mark علامة الاستفهام so it means there is a question so with your friends your is the same as you but this is possible ضمير ملكي and we will talk, it, uh, talk about it later سنتحدث عنه لاحقا but it is the same as you and with you we use are so the beginning of the question are your friends here now هل أصدقاؤك هنا الآن this is a question so after the question we have an answer نحتاج إلى إجابة علي answers no they space not ah it means oh he is singing ah I guess they space late so here we are talking about they and they refers to it refers to friends uh, Ali's friends which means Paul and Omar they Huma we are talking about they Huma Paul and Omar Ali's friends as the Ali so no they and we said with they we use are that's right we use are here so they are not it means they are not here are they your friends here now? No, they are not. Uh, I guess they are late. أعتقد I guess they are late. هما متأخران. They are late. So, let's continue. Eric, speaking now. He is asking a question. There's a question mark at the end. The teacher here. So here he is asking about the teacher. Eric يسأل عن المدرس. المدرس هل هو مفرد أو جمع؟ Teacher مفرد أو جمع؟ مفرد طبعا. Because there is no s. لا يوجد s الجمع في النهاية. So he is asking about a singular person. So with singular we said uh, third person. الضمير ال المخ... الغائب للمفرد نستخدم is so is the teacher here هل المدرس هنا the answer yes he with he of course we use is yes he is he is over there نعم هو كذلك هو موجود هناك over there موجود هناك then Eric speaks he looks nice he looks nice يبدو لطيفا he looks nice what his name 
So here we have a question, another question. ما هو الشيء الذي يسأل عنه إيرك؟ ما هو الشيء الهنا الذي يسأل عنه؟ What space his name؟ يسأل عن اسم المدرس. His name. اسمه. ما هو اسمه؟ So we are asking about a thing. A thing. شيء. نسأل عن شيء. عن اسم. So we said with things مع الأشياء إذا كانت مفردة we use. Do you remember? Yes, we use it. So what? What? So this is it, and the verb to be should be is, because we deal with his name as it. So if we want to change, it is, for example, it is Mr. Josh. So here, what is his name? Because with things we use is. What is his name? Because we need a verb to be here. So what is his name? The last sentence of the conversation, I think it, again we said with it we use, is. It is Mr. Josh. I think it is Mr. Josh. By this, we come to the end of this exercise. We come to the end of this exercise. We talked about verb B. تحدثنا عن أفعال الكون باستخدامها في الزمن الحاضر. البسيط. and before we talked about verb be تحدثنا عن تحدثنا عن أفعال الكون. إذا إذا تحدثنا عن أفعال الكون وقبل أفعال الكون تحدثنا عن الأسماء المعدودة وغير المعدودة. countable and uncountable nouns. so we talked about countable and countable nouns. After that, we talked about the verb be. أفعال الكون. كيف نستخدمها مع الزمن الحاضر البسيط. How to use it with the present symbol. And by this, we come to the end of the second lecture. Lecture number two now is over. And we almost finished talking about the basics. تقريبا لقد انتهينا من الحديث عن الأساسيات الضرورية للبدء في الوحدة الأولى للكتاب. إذا، if you have any question، you have my email، you can send me an email telling me، uh, please teacher explain uh, this rule again. يمكنكم إرسال إيميل uh, تطلبون مثلا شرح قاعدة معينة مرة ثانية ما كانت واضحة. في شيء غامض هناك شيء غامض لم يكن واضحا. ممكن إعادة شرح هذا الشيء في المحاضرات القادمة إن شاء الله. So don't forget to send an email if you have any question, if you have anything in your mind that you need to know about, you can send me an email. So this is the end of our lecture, lecture number two. I hope that you enjoyed the lecture with me and you understood everything in this lecture. Don't forget to watch the next video, lecture three. So till then, I tell you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ma'a salama. Inshallah, we'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum.